All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kadash. That's the true Hebrew names of the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, and the Lashwan Kadash, the Holy Tongue, the Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls the Most High God or Heavenly Father, and Yahweh means He is, He is to be, He exists. Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And Yahweh Shai means he is the savior, he is the deliverer. Bahashem in the name, Raka Kadash is the Holy Spirit. I want to give a double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. And peace and salutations to you, Akim, to you brothers that's pushing this word throughout the four corners abroad with truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Akim Wa Athwats. Peace and blessings to the brothers and sisters that may be tuning in, studying, and learning on the vibration of Yahweh Shem Al Shai. This is the brother Taz of War Bonaparium from the GMS Boston Camp back with a quick lesson through the spirit. And uh, as I have here on the screen, uh, Matthew 13, you know, and 9, and I'm going to read down, but hey, this thing, this thing of ours, this truth is, uh, is, is wisdom, is, is, is a blessing, it's, it's, uh, it's a miracle that the Lord uh, put in his servants, the prophets, to understand the true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you know, to able to speak the words of prophecies with confidence, and to uh, uh, go out and do the work, to feed the sheep, to go out to feed the flock, to bid uh, uh, the elect to the marriage, you know, and to understand the real truth of the scriptures, man. People uh, were taught, mainly here in, in the world, you know, there's a narrative push that, you know, God loves everybody. He's coming to, you know, send Jesus to, to save all human uh, people that believe in him, you know, and, uh, you know, that uh, he's all about love, love, love. But that's not the true gospel. That's not the true wisdom and understanding, you know. These are uh, these uh, Catholic priests or, or these uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, people that's teachers of the Bible. They 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 think they know the real truth or, or of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh or, or, or the scriptures, and they don't because they're not ordained. You know, the Lord only going to uh, speak his secrets and reveal his secrets amongst his servants, the prophets. So this is only uh, a one specific gospel that that the uh, the Lord ordained his prophets to speak. And it's not the gospel or the wisdom of this world. You know, it's not uh, uh, the broad way. You know, this is this is rare. This is uh, uh, this. This is again like it's rare, you know. The, this gospel is not going to be um, accessible for all people to understand. And that's why the Lord has set up his servants, the prophets, to understand it, to teach the true gospel. And that gospel is of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, a so-called black man is going to send his son, which is another so-called black man from the tribe of Judah, to to, to, to deliver the, the elect of Israel and Israel only. Israel is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And yes, there's Israelites that look like other nations that have been scattered uh, amongst the heathen nations, you know, but they're still Israelites through the lineage of their father, you know, and they've been scattered throughout, throughout the four corners because that was part of prophecy. You can't become a spiritual Israelite. You can't be a Moabite, a, 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 a Hamite. You can't be an Edomite. And then just say that you believe in Jesus Christ and now you're going to be saved. No, because this gospel is only given into the Israelites, man. And the, the elect are going to be delivered in this time. So this is only, again, this is a secret for those. Uh, 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 and it's only for a selected few. So real quick, I'm going to start with, I have Matthew 13, but let me get into uh, Amos Amos, um, bear with me, Salaki. Amos 3 and 7. Amos 3 verse 7. It says, Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. See, so the Lord revealed his secrets amongst his prophets. And to be a prophet of the Lord, you have to be an Israelite. You know, he's only revealing his secrets. You know, that's why he spoke in parables. That's why he, uh, <clears throat> have allegories and proverbs and dark saying is because it's not meant for the whole world to understand you know so the lord will do nothing but reveal of his secrets amongst his servants the prophets you know <clears throat> and the prophet's job once we once we uh, have obtained the uh, secrets we have a job to do 
You know, the, it's the same job of old. Real quick, Jeremiah 28, verse 8, and it reads, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesy both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So our job, we're here prophesying the downfall of, of Babylon the Great, which is a mystery to, uh, to a, a lot of people. People think Babylon the Great was uh, uh, still ancient time. They don't think that Babylon the Great is America. You know, we're prophesying that great country, man, great kingdom and of war. World War Three is on the horizon. You know, we understand what the bows and arrows that the prophets have spoken ancient times are. And it's the ICBM missiles. We know what the war in heaven is. The war in heaven is when the military want to fight against the Lord's chariots in the air. It's not an actual Satan or Lucifer uh, had a disagreement with the Lord <clears throat> and, and a war in 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 Yahweh's realm and he was cast out. No, the war in heaven is going to is a future prophecy which is going to take place with military uh uh, uh air fighters and and and, uh, and they're going to join military with all these uh nations and they're going to try to go against the Lord because the Lord is going to reveal himself through a chariot with the world calls UFOs. You know, that's a secret amongst the world. That's why they in, here in the world they say it's unidentified flying objects, but we know what they are because it's in the scriptures and the Lord revealed it unto us. You know, we're here prophesying the downfall of, of Babylon the Great, Esau Edom. You know, Esau Edom is the so-called white man, so-called so white race. You know, these other nations, uh, Ham, Moab, Ishmael, Elam. You know, and the fact that we also know who we are, we are the true Hebrew Israelites. Hey, that's the Lord revealing that secret amongst us. The world don't teach who are the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of, you know. So, hey, and this the, the prophets, we're, we're, we're prophesying, again, of war and of evil and pestilence. And this is what's coming to the whole world. The Lord's ready to bring plagues upon the earth, you know. The sword, famine, death, and destruction, you know. This is that true gospel that the Lord revealed if unto his service the prophets to preach, man. And only the elect are going to obtain this word, going to repent and seek the Lord ten times more. Rehearse the righteous acts and, and do the work to be found worthy of salvation when the day of judgment come, man. You know? So let me get, let me get uh, Matthew, what I had started with, Matthew 13. Again, this is a secret for those, man. This is not for everybody. And we'll get into it. Matthew 13, verse 9. Who have ears to hear, let them hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it's not given. See, to so them it's not given. These other nations, even two-thirds of our people, it's not. they're not going to understand this gospel, understand the mysteries. And this is why they won't be delivered at the time of the day of the Lord's wrath, man. When judgment hand takes place, man. It's mysteries. You know? This is how we know that this gospel, the word of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, the Bible, is only meant for uh, a selected few. It's only was made for the Israelites. You know? But the election is going to obtain it, man. And understand this wisdom. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking because it's red letters. You know? So this gospel is not for everybody, man. This is why the Lord speak in parables, man. And real quick, I'm going to go back to that. Matthew, I mean, Salaki, uh, Proverbs, the first chapter. Proverbs 1, I'll start at verse 2. To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity, to give subtility to the simple and to the young man knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall obtain unto wise counsel. To understand a proverb and interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. See, you ultimately got to, this word is a proverb. It's uh, 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 words of wise, dark sayings, allegories, you know, parables, you know, to understand the, the true mysteries that the Lord is speaking, man. Verse 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. You know, so you got to fear Yahweh Bashem Awashai. And these other nations don't fear Yahweh Bashem Awashai. And you can tell by their actions how they move, man. They are engulfed with sin and wickedness and their adversary, their Satans to the Lord, man, and his word. They're against righteousness, you know. Fools despise that wisdom. Let me get back to Matthew 13. 
uh, verse 11, he answered and said to them, because it's given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it's not given. See, and this is how we know this is ultimately of the Lord. The Lord does the choosing, you know. It says many are called, but few are chosen, you know, in the scriptures. You know, you can't just one day just be like, hey, I'm going to change my life to Jesus Christ. And now you think you're saved. No, man. The Lord has to ordain you and give you the true understanding of the scriptures. And this is why we, the Hebrew Israelites, we have a lot of uh, people uh, always want to debate us. And, 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 and they will falsely accuse us for saying that, oh, that's your own interpretation or, or that oh, you guys are twisting up the scriptures. No, it's because you guys were taught, <clears throat> excuse me, the universal way. You were taught Catholicism. You were taught love, love, love. You know, the Christian doctrine. God loves everybody. You were taught that Jesus was the name of the Lord and Savior, and he looks like a so-called white man. That's not the truth, man. The scriptures doesn't um, uh, 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 describe our Lord and Savior as a so-called white white man or a pale man, you know. But even that, man, that this, this is the broad way of teaching, of, of thinking, <clears throat> thinking the universal way. And this is why we have so many uh, people trying to debate us or naysayers, uh, non-believers, scoffers, because they don't understand the scriptures. And when they hear this, they think it's a uh, rude speech or they think it's of evil. But, hey, <clears throat> our Lord, <clears throat> our Lord's uh, 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 gospel is, is meant to uh, 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 to offend those that, that don't get it, man, you know, that are sinners. You know, and that's why the scripture says, bless the man who is not offended, you know, but many are going to be offended because they have been taught the lies, the, the, the philosophies, the wines of this world, man. But to go back, Matthew 13, verse uh, 12, for whosoever have to him shall be given and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever have not from him shall be taken away even that he hath. Therefore, speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. See, they can't see the visions that we preach, that we, we, that we uh, uh, preach, man. You know, the Lord woke, up our, woke us up, man, to understand, to measure the time diligently, to be circumspect, to, to, to see what's going on in the world and, and filter them through the prophecies of the scriptures. This is how we know we at the end of the end. The Lord left the Lord left us signs and wonders and clues of the sign of his coming and the end of the world, which is the end of a, a eon, the end, end of a, a age, the end of a rulership, which is Esau's kingdom. It's not the end of the whole earth because we know in Ecclesiastes, the first chapter, that the earth abide forever. <clears throat> so when we say the end of the world, it's not the end of the whole uh, earth itself. It's just the end of the rulership. <clears throat> Excuse me. But again, they see, they see not. They hear these words, but they don't understand. It. It's going in and out of their um, ears because ultimately, uh, like, like I quoted earlier, the uh, many are ch called, but few are chosen. You know, you can't just... Uh, uh, pick this up and just think that you're going to be converted and get all the understanding. You know, the Lord has to ordain and wake you up. And he also ordains who he keeps asleep. Real quick, I'll go back to Matthew uh, 13, but just real quick. Um, I think it's Isaiah 29. Isaiah 29. Con, I, Isaiah 29, verse 9. Stay yourselves and wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken. But not with wine They are staggered But not with strong drink See and, and This is Another allegory Or a parable You know You guys is drunken Of the philosophies That wine Is, is, is not actual Physical Yan yan It's not The beverage man It's actually The philosophies The The, the doctrines Of this world That have people Drunk man Lost In the sauce man you know, have them staggered, but not with that strong drink, man. This is the, the way of life, the philosophies here that's taught by Esau Edom, because they are the um, the rulers of this earth right now. Because the earth being given to the hand of the wicked, and the wicked are going to teach you everything contrary to the righteousness of the scriptures, man. <clears throat> Salakia, excuse me. Verse 10, for the Lord have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and have closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, have he covered and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed which men deliver to one that is learned saying read this i pray thee and he said i cannot for it is sealed 
And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precepts of men. And this is why people are lost in the sauce because they don't fear the words and fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh's ways. They rather take heed to the smooth sayings, the smooth words of these prophets, these so called pastors, these uh, uh, people that's successful. They rather hear their philosophy and their words. They're taught by the precepts of men. They're not taught by the Heavenly Father. And this is why they don't fear the Lord. This is why they ultimately don't understand it. You know, that's why the Lord poured, a, a, poured out a, upon these people a spirit of deep sleep and covered their eyes, man. You know, meaning they can't see these visions. As I read in Jeremiah 28, you know, the prophets of old are prophesying of war and of evil, of pestilence, of great kingdoms. But the people that have their eyes closed, they still thinking that this place, America, is gonna has a chance to be unified, to be healed, you know, have a chance to go back to love, you know, peace and safety. But we know as the scriptures, once they say peace and, peace and safety, then soon sudden destruction come up upon them, you know. And this is the Lord uh, uh, closing your eyes, keeping you in deep sleep, man. You know, let me go right back to Matthew. <clears throat> so lock it. 13. Uh, 13. Now, at verse 14, and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which say, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. See, so this is you ultimately, you know, this is why the Lord has set up his men to pretty much bring to uh, to bring you back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Yahweh is not going to get off his throne and come on earth and say, I'm the Lord and it's time to repent and change. No, the Lord has sent up set up his servants the prophets to speak the words of prophecy to you to, to you israelites to his people man and you're supposed to take heed to the true seers the true prophets that's not giving you that love doctrine that's not giving you a bunch of fluff that's going to give it to you uh, uh straight up raw and rugged you know the the sweet and bitter and you're supposed to believe in the men and if you do the lord will convert you but ultimately like i said People hear the, the the prophets and this it sounds like new speech to them. It sounds like hate speech or evil or, you know, we are twisting up the words and then uh, are misinterpreting the scripture and they believe they disbelieve. They, they scoff, they scorn. So this is why you be covered, man. You know, the Lord keeps you covered. <clears throat> but it says if you can change with your heart and you ultimately understand and be able to to uh, uh, listen and see the vision and hear these prophecies. And, and, and you could, you could be convert, converted and ultimately the elect are going to once they hear this word hear this the prophets they're going to be converted you know the elect the Lord ha knows his elect he's had ordained them from the the beginning of the earth man but continuing on verse 16 but bless are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear for verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye have heard and have not heard them. See, so blesses our eyes, man. Bless are the eyes of the men, the servants, the prophets, and even the families that believe in Yahweh Bashem Shai and can see the visions coming. They can hear the prophecies uh, uh, coming to pass and see it coming to pass, and they and they still uh, 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 still trying to rehearse the righteous acts to fall the law statute commandments to the best of their ability you know constantly praying constantly fasting and then uh re again rehearsing the righteous acts to be found worthy for salvation when our lord comes you know we're prepared for a new world a new earth with dwelling from righteousness and we know before the kingdom of heaven is established this place got to go down through trouble through tribulation through evil you know through bad times so only the elect are, are, are hastening for that day and being prepared man you know real quick uh, Romans uh, Romans 
Romans 11 verse 7 What then? Israel have not contained, obtained that which he seeketh for But the election have obtained it And the rest were blinded And again the elect 144,000 men The prophets uh, And the one third governing body uh, The one third The families The wives The children The friends of the prophets That are all Israelites Are going to obtain uh, 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 what they seek it for and understand the true gospel understand your how about shim shy understand that america is babylon the great and his place is going to be utterly destroyed understand who esau edom is that he's the enemy he is the wicked he is the devil that the bible speaks up you know they're going to understand uh, uh world war three and the thermonuclear missiles coming to destroy and eradicate babylon the great so it's time to get right the election are going to obtain it but the rest are blinded that rest is two-thirds of our people the naysayers that scoffers that on and these heathen nations because ultimately these scriptures were only given to the nation of Israel and I'll prove it uh, Lord, matter of fact real quick I'll get it through the scriptures uh, was it Psalms 149 I think it's Psalms 147 and 19 Yep, Khan. Psalms 147 to 19. He showeth his words unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye, Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. See, so his word, statutes, and judgments, these scriptures, is only for the nation of Israel, man. He hasn't dealt so with any other nations. So these other nations are not going to understand the scriptures. They're not going to understand prophecy. They're not going to understand or even accept Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. Now, if there's another nation that may look like, uh, 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 it might be uh, people that may look like they're so-called Chinese, so-called uh, Middle Eastern, so-called white, and they accept Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that is most likely he are, is an Israelite, man. Uh, he is a, 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 a Israelite foreigner, you know. He has been... He has been uh, scattered and took on the customs of the heathen, but through the bloodline of his father, he goes back to an Israelite, man. You know, but this is proves that the Lord is only dealing with the Israelites. They're the only ones that are going to understand his judgment and his words, his commandments and prophecies. And they're going to be the only ones seeking. That's only could be seek for salvation, man. He hasn't dealt so with any other nation. So back to Romans 11, verse 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According as it was written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, unto this day. And David said, Let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense under them. Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and bow down their back all way. See, so ultimately, this is the Lord putting the spirit of slumber, a spirit of deep sleep into the eyes of many people that he doesn't ordain, that wants them to see this vision or to hear these prophecies, man. So this is why when you do hear this word, and you're kind of on the fence, you should want to take heed, man. Do your research. You know, bring we bring out the precepts. We don't speak... We don't speak uh, of our thoughts and, uh, and, and, our, and our opinions. We go according to these scriptures and according to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai because, again, the Lord ordained us to speak his words, man. And you, we, we handle it with care and carefully, man. You know? So, hey, when you see, when you hear this word, take heed and seek the Lord because judgment is coming. Plagues is coming. Prophecies are going to be fulfilled. And it's going to be bad times. Tribulation. Evil is coming, man. So take heed. You so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, man. Uh, Ecclesiasticus of the book of Sirach, chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Hey, so make no tarrying. Do not uh, 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 hesitate to turn to the Lord. Do not think that you can uh, put the Lord in the back burner. You can get back to him on your own time. For then suddenly these prophecies will come It will be fulfilled And the Lord is going to come with wrath And you will be destroyed for your for, for your lack of awareness For your lack of urgency So you seek the Lord while he may be found man. So with that man I pray everything was edifying I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh B'Hashem Yahweh Shai B'Hashem Rekah HaKadosh Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who grew well and taught me this truth. And peace and salutations to you, Akim, that's pushing this word throughout the four corners abroad. Shalom to the, uh, 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 the, uh, the house of David, the elect. You know, and until next time, I want to say, I don't want to with me, Lord willing. Shalom.